join me then in Glenageary in South County Dublin on my way to collect my latest crap car. I uh, really look forward to this one as I do with all of them of course but to this one in particular uh, I'm really looking forward to, uh, to picking up. Um, I agree a decent price that I'm quite happy with, marked down quite considerably from what the um, seller was originally looking for so that's always a positive. Um, it's Swedish, it's utilitarian, it's practical and it's actually pretty stylish. That might have given a bit of it away potentially but uh, yeah I'm really excited for this one so uh, I'm going to make it to the train station where I've agreed to meet the seller and uh, I will report back then. Okay, then I'm just on a test drive of the new car, and uh, yeah, I really like it. Yeah, I'm going to buy this. This is wonderful. It's nice and clean in here. Um, yeah, no, I'm not going to lie. I think I've fallen for it. I really do like it. I'm not going to tell you what it is, of course, uh, yet anyway. You will find out in a moment. Sorry, that's the phone on my lap there. I am looking, of course, at the road. Um, yeah, oh goodness, I'm excited. I better drive back, actually, to this person's house. They're going to think I've robbed it. Um, but no, I really do like it. It's uh, it's nice. It's automatic, Swedish, leather interior, all good things. So uh, yeah, I uh, I've got cash on me, and uh, I'm going to buy this, and then I'm going to do a reveal. I can't wait. So what are my first impressions of driving? the new car, the Volvo V40. Well, I have to say, it's such a lovely long distance cruise where I hopped on the M50 there when I left um, Glen Aguirre. Um, cruised all the way back in the M50, M1, and now, because there's a bit of traffic and an accident on the M1, I'm taking the old Dublin Belfast Road. And uh, it's lovely, you can really put the foot down, sit back in these wonderfully comfortable leather seats and just cruise. 1.8 petrol, automatic. I've never owned an automatic before, actually, so this is a first for me. I'm having to grab this knee uh, and this leg and make sure that I don't accidentally press, press the, uh, the non-existing clutch, which, of course, would be then the brake. Um, in that general direction of putting my foot, so I don't want to send myself to the windscreen accidentally, of course. Um, but yeah, it, it's really, really nice. It's got a lovely stereo system, actually, the original radio, which is brilliant. It's got heated seats. Um, what else has it got? It's got electric windows, electrically adjustable mirrors. Um, I think electrically adjustable seats, I think, as well, if I really mess around with it. It's got climate control, I believe. Uh, lots of lovely little features, passenger airbag, which is uh, not always standard on the kind of awful cars that I like. Uh, it's quite highly specced. Um, lots of different fully little light controls here. It's got child locks on the doors. Uh, and I've got a lovely wad of service history, which is absolutely fantastic. I'll uh, sit down with a lovely cup of tea and a few biscuits tonight and sift through that. I actually can't wait. That's how sad I am. I can't wait to sift through service history for a couple of hours. That'll be um, that'll be wonderful. And of course, I'll get the manual out and have a good read of that before bed. So yeah, really look forward to that. Um, yeah, of course, it being a 21-year-old car, it's not without its issues. Uh, I hit some um, showers on the M50 and I noticed that this door seal here is leaking. So, um, and it looked like it was leaking onto these electronic controls um, down here. So. Uh, I hope that's not the case that it's leaking onto the controls. They all seem to work though, but uh, yeah, that, that's not ideal. I'll have to have a look at that. And I can hear actually there's a bit of a draft. Um, and whenever cars go past, you can hear that quite audibly through this door here. Um, and a very slight grumble when you reach around 100 kilometres an hour. There's, there's a grumble coming from what I fear might be the gearbox, maybe. Hopefully it's just a bit of suspension or something, I don't know, but uh, it's not that loud, it's not really that annoying, so yeah, I'll probably just keep driving it until something bad happens with that. Um, the uh, the seller was a lovely woman, actually, um, and she mentioned that she hadn't had a service in over a year, but she's hardly done any kind of mileage, only probably about 2,000 miles in the year, which of course is nothing. Or 2,000 kilometers, I think she said, actually. Um, so yeah, probably needs a service, although the service light does come on when you start the engine and then goes off after a couple of minutes, I think, so that's fine. Um, yeah, it's got 128,098 miles on it, uh, and I'm about 40 miles into my journey, 39.3. 
Um, but no, everything seems fine. It's a little bit grubby in here. I will have to give it a good clean. Uh, might drop it into the valetors. Uh, might not. Might do it myself. Not too sure, really, at this moment in time. But uh, yeah, initial impressions are good. I'm uh, I'm happy so far. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you'd like to help me keep any of these terrible old wrecks on the road, you can do. The link to my Patreon is in the description below. You also get a free Crap Car Collective window sticker. Not bad.